ARC encounter is immoral, impossible, and un-American. Inside the ARC encounter, the greatest story ever told comes to life on four floors. Throngs of pilgrims, some arriving two by two, bear witness to Noah, his family, and all those animals. Rachel Cross brought her five children. To you, this represents the truth. The truth, the absolute truth. God's word is the Bible, and it's the absolute truth. I totally believe that. This timber frame ark is rectangular and enormous. Seven stories tall, almost two football fields long. Its dimensions straight from the pages of Genesis. It's meant to make a statement that Christians can build a major attraction like this. Ken Ham built it so they would come. He's the 64-year-old founder of a ministry called Answers in Genesis. Ham is a young earth creationist, a Christian who believes the world is 6,000 years old. Dinosaurs lived alongside people, and evolution is junk science. I think what this place will do for Christians is to embolden many of them. Is this a Christian's Disney, or is this more than that? No, it's much more than that. But some critics see the ark as a celebration of ignorance. Others complain employees have to be Christian and sign a statement of faith and believe the ark's $18 million in state tax incentives trampled the line between church and state. But a federal court allowed it. Critic Jim Helton leads the tri-state freethinkers. Noah's Ark is a church. It is clearly a religious point of view that says science is false. Ham hopes for two million visitors in the first year. And scoffers and critics be damned. Well, they, they can scoff all they want. Uh, they can be critical all they want. You know what? I invite them all to come here. Noah hunkered down for 40 days and 40 nights. Visiting this ark will run you $40. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Williamstown, Kentucky. Good point. Um, tell us about the, the controversy. So a lot of people saying this is a church, this is not a museum. The, this, uh, the purpose of this is to discredit evolution, and it's a de facto church now, and it's disseminating views of, from this ministry as well. That in itself is not a problem, except that they got an $18 million tax credit for building this. And so people are saying you're using state funds for something that is of secular uh, purpose. So anyway, there was a big back and forth. By the end of it, they got this money. Bill Nye, probably one of the biggest critics of this, had uh, something to say about that. Take a listen. Mr. Hamm and his followers have this remarkable view of uh, a worldwide flood that somehow influenced everything that we observe in nature. A 500-foot wooden boat, eight zookeepers for 14,000 individual animals, every land plant in the world underwater for a full year. I ask us all, is that really reasonable? But despite all that, 4,000 plus people showed up to check it out. Here's what they said. There were some mixed reviews today. Here's what they said when they showed up. There's sure a lot of people who, who think this is important and we do too. Yeah, it is something that we're seeing at least once. This park tells people that evolution is not true. Science isn't true. The Earth is only 6,000 years old. This is ridiculous. They're raising a bunch of scientifically illiterate children, and this is a dangerous concept. That explains absolutely nothing. Do you want genetics to go out of business? No need to think. No need to think. It's a great opportunity for us to share with our family and, and talk about what, what Noah's Ark was and the meaning of, of the promise that actually resulted from Noah's Ark. Reaching seven stories high. I didn't expect it to be really that big, so I was really amazed. It was huge, <laughs> and there was a lot of animals on it. 
The Ark Encounter theme park is estimated to draw 2 million visitors in its first year. It's pretty amazing, I mean, just to be able to read and know the history and the stories in the Bible and then just to be able to see some sort of realization of that. It's a really cool experience. Answers in Genesis is the Christian group who built the $100 million Ark. They believe it will generate $4 billion for the Commonwealth over the next decade, creating 20,000 jobs along the way. I think it's a really interesting um, experience for Kentucky just to have another attraction here in the state, and I think it could do a, real, a lot for tourism.